Welcome to Daily Divine with Spiritual Findings. Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Vera Lynn and today I'm going to be doing a tarot reading for December 19th, 2019. Yes, 1919. So already we're kind of going into the day with positive affirmations. I have the Rider Weight deck here. I'm going to be pulling a few cards from this deck as well. I have the angels. I have the fairies and the animal spirits by me here. So I'm going to be f feeling after I pull a few cards from the Rider Weight Rider Weight deck, which decks might be gearing towards me. I'm kind of feeling an animal spirit. Um, you know, comment below what you guys would like daily divine readings to obtain in the future. This is something fun that I would like to start kind of communing, communicating with people on a different level. I do a lot of live streams. Um, I offer free readings too on those live streams. I am also doing a free reading for every daily divine reading. All you have to do is like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share, Comment below when you've done all that. Have a little personal touch with your comment, guys, because this is not random. I'm literally picking people who I'm drawn to. Let's do a reading, a tarot reading. We can do it via Facebook, via phone. Let's have some fun with it. Um, you know, if some of you guys who just, you know, want to do it over messaging, more than welcome to do it that way, too. So we are already starting off with the Five of Swords. So we're kind of coming away with a lot more than we thought it would when it comes to some bad experience in life. Some traumas, conflicts, divorces. Um, you know, maybe you went into it thinking the worst and it really didn't turn out as badly as you thought it would. So let's move on from that. We're kind of taking that confidence. Don't forget to use that little bit of a stride going on for 2020. For today, with the conflicts, I feel you want to not necessarily let your ego out of hand. Um, slip up maybe posting via social media, um, whether it's conflict via custody, um, you know, divorce, getting new jobs, things like that. Let's keep things on the down low when it comes to today. Okay. You're all, you're also your emotions. I feel like you're going to be feeling very rewarded when it comes to your emotions. You have the page of cups here, so you might get a text message. You might get a phone call today, um, relating to family life. Um, relating to, you know, something that you have your passions in. Um, I also feel like maybe it could be something that you've been wanting to do for your job, whether it's, um, you know, hearing back from a certain place or, you know, being accepted to venue at a certain place, whatever it might be. You're going to be hearing a message today that's really going to just overall make you feel loved, make you feel desired. It doesn't just have to be about the love life. It could be career. So keep an eye out for that, okay? It could be a simple shout out on somebody, you know, messaging something on your Facebook or, you know, just commenting somebody you haven't heard from in a while. Okay, so there's some some news, some good news coming your way that's really going to make you feel warm and bubbly. All right, so we're already kind of feeling hot and heavy and uh, confident, having that stride. So I feel like we're the reason why this emotion is coming today is because we're really overall we want to protect what we have created, which is a natural um, emotion. It's a natural instinct. You know, if it if you're a mama bear and it comes to your cubs, you know you want to protect them at all costs. If it's this business that you've been putting your life and your heart into, you know, you just don't want to sell out to the first big person that comes with a contract. No, you want to protect what you've created. Okay. Also your heart. If you've been doing some major healing when it comes to your heart, to your heart chakras, maybe all of your chakras, you don't want some negative energy, some, some psychic vampire, somebody to drain you to completely mess up what you have, the foundation that you've created. Okay, you could literally see in this car that he has built a fence around him. He's a little bruised. He's a little battered. He doesn't, you know, feel too great about what just happened to him, but he's alive. Let's see if my camera will focus in. Maybe not. A little bit. But yeah, you could see that he's still in the fence, though. Not completely, but he's aware. He's protecting. All right. All right, so we have lots of different emotions going on. We have the swords, we have the cups, 
and we have the wands all right so i'm going to be pulling from a little bit lighter of a deck you know if you guys are interested in a free reading all you have to do is like subscribe share comment below that you've done all that and i'm going to be picking people that i'm drawn to from these daily divine readings have a little fun with them i love hearing where you guys are from your zodiac signs um, I might get personal with the Daily Divines and read to Zodiac Sign. Um, maybe I'll do something a little bit every day to kind of scry for some messages. Maybe I'll pull in some wax readings. Comment below. What do you guys want to see? All right, gentleness. So, for today, for December 19th, 2019, let's bring in a certain gentleness. For some of you guys who have the holidays coming around the corner, for some of you guys who welcoming in the new year. Now also from this picture too, for some of you guys who are about to get married, whether it's winter time or approaching spring, early summer, there's going to be a lot of chaos. You know, maybe today you might have broke down and had an anxiety attack about all the things that you need to do for your wedding. For some of you guys, for the holidays. <laughs> it gets rough, okay? Let's calm down. Let's have a gentleness to today, a gracefulness to today to kind of push forward, relax, and let that good karma, those positive affirmations, that little touch of meditation, maybe burning some sage, whatever you need into your life to really calm you down, okay? Remind you of the gentle being you really want to be because you don't want to be all hunched up and stressed and agitated and resentful and all that crap, right? All right. So that deck, um, I didn't say what deck that was. That was a Vintage Wisdom Oracle. If you guys are interested in reading tarot, I have a tarot deck card review as well as I'm going to be putting a little bit more tarot studies onto this channel. I have some money spells. If you guys want a money spell for 2020, look that up. I've actually um, did it personally myself and have been having some good success. It's all the intent you put into it. Okay, so I am also going to give you guys a lovely spirit animal. Okay, this is a spirit animal for today, for December 19th. 19. No. Oh, whoa. Um, well, 19, but 2019. <clears throat> oh, yeah. All right. Now, if you feel like this animal spirit might go on to you for the new year, for a project, you know, for more than just the day, so be it, okay? But I'm just pulling it for a majority of the people for December 19th, 2019. All right. Well, I guess we have two. Oh, oh my. Okay, we have the platypus. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. Snow Leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. Now, I feel like honestly that just goes into play with everything. The platypus, I feel like more is the energy from the Five of Swords, all right? And I also feel like the Snow Leopard is definitely coming from the nine of wands, okay? That past trauma. You gotta take a little bit of a break from the hustle bustle in life. I know things are getting chaotic and things are there, but let's take a little bit of a break, okay? Let's meditate. Let's get that, you know, a little bit of a pedicure, day spa. I'm always the type to just, you know, wanna go to the cabin, take a hike in the woods, whatever it might be, more nature side. All right. So that is what we have. And I also, just by looking at the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck, you have um, obviously the presence of the doves flying in the background there. Very beautiful. So I do see love really coming to you. With the Page of Cups being directly above it, I feel like, you know, today you might have a little bit more settling realization that your love life or things regarding your love and your emotions don't need to be as hectic, as dramatic, or as desperate as you may make them to be at times. You have control over your own emotions. You are in you are in control of your own destiny. You have the ability you have the ability to manifest your destiny, and I think it's really important. 
I don't know if I'm, I feel like there might be a lot of Cancers also watching today. Shout out to you guys too as well. Virgos, Geminis, um, my Leos. Um, you know, I feel, um, you know, because I feel the Leo, um, you know, I, I feel... There's a lot of emotions going on right now. Let's just take a deep breath for today. Let's realize that today, not everything needs to be done today. Maybe let's make that list, but let's realize that we don't have to complete everything on that list. Okay, guys? All right. Let's try to go into 2020 with a positive mind and let's start that today. Okay. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up if you like these daily divine readings. Um, you know, they might change up over the future um I, like i said i might gear towards shout out if you gave if i have like a lot of tauruses comment below hey i want a taurus daily divine or you know virgos i want a virgo daily divine shout out below and i will start doing them but right now i'm just gearing these towards all of my lovely zodiac signs and i wish you guys a blessed day take some time in solitude take some deep breaths and realize that you are divine. Blessed be.